You're probably here because you've heard of WebSockets, but you're not sure what they actually do and how they work. First of all, what is a WebSocket? Normally, when a website talks to a server, it uses HTTP and you make a request, you get a response and it's done. Each time you need new information or need to take an action, you have to send a request. But with a WebSocket, the browser can make a connection with the server and it can keep the connection open so data can be passed back and forth. So how does that actually work? At first, the WebSockets use HTTP to start the connection. This is called the handshake. Then they upgrade the connection to a WebSocket protocol. It switches to use a TCP socket, which is a low level connection that can stay open in the background. And the important part here is when the connection is open, there's no formal request and response. It can stay open and receive data and send it at the same time. So why do we need web sockets? What we've talked about might have sparked some ideas in your mind of when they could be used. An example being a live chat. Let's say you sent a message in a chat app. With regular HTTP, the app will keep having to ask the server, is there any new messages? And this isn't very efficient. But with WebSockets, once the connection has been made, the server can push the message to you as soon as it happens. So in summary, WebSockets are an open two-way connection between the browser and the server. They stay connected using a lightweight TCP socket and messages are free flowing without having to make constant requests and it's really useful for things like live chats, games, or anything that needs instant updates. Don't forget to check out the rest of the software development for beginner series, but other than that, I'll see you next time. With regular HTTP, it would try uh, it, the app. Don't forget to check out the rest of my software for development. Uh.